In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the visibility properties of a label and a button from the default setting, which is marked true, to false in code. First, I've made a button, and then I've made a label where I put some text in it to describe the class, and then I've made another button that I only want the user to be able to see or access after they click this button and it, it, this button and then I can change the properties of this to be true so that it pops up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the label I don't want the users to see initially and change its visibility property to false. I'm going to change the button. I'm going to click on the button and I'm going to change the button's visibility properties that I don't want the users to see right away to false. Then I'm going to go to the block so that I can write some code. And then I'm going to write some code for the button, MIT button. And when the MIT button is clicked, I want the label description visibility property, which is going to be near the bottom because the properties are arranged alphabetically. I want the visibility property of the description to change to true. Now, true and false are stored in the built-in blocks under logic. So the built-in block under logic, I'm going to set it to true. And I'm going to repeat that same procedure for the button to computer programming. And I'm going to set that's visibility property to true as well. We're used to dragging out the when a button is clicked, but the buttons also have properties that I can set and get. And I'm going to set the visibility property of the button to be true as well. Now, when this app is working, it, uh, I should be able to click on this button and that would change the visibility property of both the label and the button. 